How's it going everybody? I'm Levi with JLG Reptiles and today we're going to be discussing what you're going to need before you get your first ball python. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. All right guys, so maybe you're wanting to get an ultra male or maybe a leopard lavender albino. Maybe a desert ghost is more your style. Or maybe you're just really into VPI exantics. Okay, so no matter what morph you decide to get, and there are literally hundreds of ball python morphs out there to choose from, before you bring that snake home, there are a few things you have to have. And for a single snake setup, this is the route I would go. It's fairly inexpensive um, and it sets you up for long term as well. So I'm going to tell you what you need, where to get it, and the price. Um, so first off guys, you're going to have to get the actual rack. And as what this is, it's a rack just like these, except it's only a single deal. So just it'll just hold one tub and it's made of wood not metal and it is from tgrracksystems.com and these websites I will put them in the description so you can easily get access to those but it's a FB70 single level and I, I guess is what the FB is Freedom Breeder because they're using the Freedom Breeder tubs and they're just building their rack around it so the 70 is actually what I have here and it will hold up to a 2500 gram ball python so it's going to hold a big adult ball python and people wonder you know they all kinds of people say well you can't put small ball pythons in a big enclosure like that they just won't do well well guys i'm here to tell you you know this leopard lavender albino here whenever i got her she was 71 grams and this is the only tub she's ever been in. Now, whenever I first got her, she wouldn't eat anything but live, but she would still eat just fine as long as you were offering her what she wanted. And now I've actually got her converted over to frozen thawed rats, so she's doing doing excellent, growing a ton. I think she's probably doubled her body weight since she's been here with me, so she's she's doing great, guys, in this big tub. And getting this FB70, you'll never have to get another one. You know, you won't have to start off small, like people say, you know, start with a 10 gallon aquarium and then go to a 20 and then a 30 and then a 40 gallon breeder. You won't, you won't have to go through all that. This is the easiest way to go about it, I think. So that is going to come with the Freedom Breeder 70 single level, a gray tub with a cup holder, and you can choose with or without the cup holder. It's up to you. Um, heat tape wired installed, added shelf ventilation, and 16 ounce deli cups if you decide to get the gray tub with cup holder. But that all comes out to $170. So that's $115 for the actual um, frame of the rack you're going to get. The gray tub is $22.50. The heat, heat tape is $12.50. Added shelf ventilation was $10. And the 16 ounce deli cups are also $10. So like I said, that comes out to $170. Then you're going to ease over to reptilebasics.com and you're going to get a Vivarium Electronics Hobby Stat. Um, and I think this would be just fine for one animal um, and it's just going to be, you know, it's going to have a little dial so you can adjust it like that. But that is $49.99 on reptilebasics.com and then you're going to get a TG8IR thermometer and that is just like this. The temp gun, so you can check your temperatures. You know, right now, this room temperature is 78, 79. Um, so yeah, you got to have that, guys. Cannot, cannot not have it. Um, that way, whenever you get your thermostat, you can keep checking that hot spot, checking that hot spot until you get it, you know, that perfect 88 to 90 degrees for the animal. Um, so that will come out to $89.98 at Reptile Basics. Now, this isn't including shipping. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, you're looking at $259.98 for a single animal rack setup that you can actually add to if you decide you want to go that route. Um, with tall grass reptiles, their rack systems, you can just keep buying singles and stacking and stacking, or you can go ahead and buy a five level 
if you want and stack that with it so you'll have six but you know that's if you decide you want to take it to the next level start breeding or something like that or you just really want more ball pythons which is fine as well but yeah so that's that's the cost guys two fifty nine ninety eight you're gonna have a hundred and seventy at TGR and eighty nine ninety eight at reptile basics well I hope this cleared up any confusion you may have had as far as what to expect when shopping for a ball python um, and like I said guys this is just the route I would go um, I think Brian Barchek actually did a video where it was like under a hundred dollars for a ball python setup but you know he actually put it in an aquarium he got the aquarium off of Craigslist there's a lot of shopping around and things like that this is just everything brand new you know from a supplier and to me the best setup you can put a ball python in um, they do need to be in a rack system I feel um, just more comfortable unless I mean you can put them in aquarium but you just you gotta have hides everywhere and all that and this I just feel like is is the better way to go it controls humidity really well it just takes care of takes the headache out of it really because an aquarium that's what it's going to be is a headache trying to keep the humidity right trying to keep all that right so this way you just avoid all that and go right for the win so there's nothing wrong with that for sure but guys if you enjoyed it please subscribe hit that like button and i will see you next time